Hello and welcome to my channel where I play GeoGuessr. And today in my second video ever, I have chosen to tackle this map, A Complete World. A map that includes every single country in the world in more than 6,000 locations. Now that is quite impressive and um, I really like the concept of this map because unlike um, in other maps like a diverse world which is a great map um, but unlike in that you know you can really get every country which is especially interesting with like very small and obscure countries and a lot of African countries which are not really on Google Street View so yeah let's see how I do let's make this a challenge invite friends Copy the link. Ah, is it copied or what? Ah, let's just hope it is and start the game. Well, this one's certainly beautiful. Um, seems to be a fairly warm country. We are overlooking what appears to be a pretty small town with a church I mean I'm getting Central America vibes here maybe South America possibly let's see if we can see some writing maybe figure out the language can't read that todo well I don't know how much we can make of that but that is certainly a Spanish word I mean, it is between Spanish and Portuguese here, isn't it? I mean, unless this is Belize, in which I think they speak English, right? Or maybe a French-speaking country in the Caribbean, but let's see. What does that say? Central. Yeah, okay, that doesn't help us much. I mean, this is... I mean, there are quite a lot of palm trees. This is fairly tropical, right? I'm really thinking Central America. I don't think this is... I mean, though, South America is also a tropical, so I don't know what I was getting at there. Um, yeah. As beautiful as this view is, the number of clues is admittedly quite limited, so... This will really be about, you know, experience, gut feeling, more than it is about working out the clues. <sighs> Let's go into the map. Again, my gut feeling is Central America. It is quite flat, to be fair. So, what does that tell us? Maybe Nicaragua, you know? I mean, this area, I don't know, it looks quite flat on the map. So maybe somewhere around here, you know? Let's look at this place. What does that look like? Nah, that's too small. I mean, do, is there the, the sea anywhere close by? Can we see the sea? Hmm, I don't think so. No, this is, it's very flat, but I don't think the sea is anywhere close. Hmm. I mean, it could certainly be Panama as well. Maybe here, around this area. I mean, size-wise, this kind of correlates, doesn't it? Let's see, the street grid is, well, it's pretty much north-south, not perfectly, but it's not aligned like this, and that's what I'm getting at. So I guess this alignment of the street grid, the streets, is pretty much the only clue we can go on here. Where else could it be? Let's check these places. 
Does that align? I don't know. I mean, the C is too close, isn't it? It would be visible clearly in the image. So it must be... F oh, no, wait. Oh, the lake. <laughs> okay. Um, but still, I don't think it's that place. I think we're really, like, properly... Here? No, that doesn't align. Ooh, this is a tough one. Oops, didn't want to do that. But yeah, haha, <laughs> see? Here, this aligns quite well. Now, can we find this kind of square with the church? Nope. There we go. Might this just be it? It probably isn't, but... Let's just go there anyway. Ah, it was in Panama. It was in the city of Chitre. All right. And that park thing was not visible, so wouldn't have found it anyway. All right. Play the next round. This is certainly a hard round. Ooh, again, beautiful landscape, but Poo. what do we do? I mean, as much as I don't really like it, there is another clue down here, and that is the name of the person who posted this photosphere. Again, as I said, I don't like that because it's a clue that is not really geographical. But, well, it's there and it would be stupid to uh, ignore it. Because so far I was thinking, you know, maybe like Canada or something. But this is making me rethink it. And again, I mean, this might be just someone with that name who lives in Canada. But I am thinking, since it is a photosphere and Canada has plenty of street view, that we are probably in a place where this is a common name. Huidong. And, well, one option is certainly China. Now, if we are in China, where would we be? Now, this is really difficult because China is obviously not on Street View, so you never get it. So I have zero clue where it could be. I mean, I kind of have a rough idea of Chinese geography, of course, but this, I mean, it is probably in the north, right? Just, let's look at the foliage real quick. I mean, this must be in the north. If it is in China, even. It might be a completely different place. But, for the lack of better clues, let's just assume it's in China. Maybe Mongolia. But again, there's street view there, so why would there be a photosphere? So I'm thinking we're pretty far north in sort of a river, not a river delta but close to a river delta. No, actually it's, wait, I'm talking nonsense. Look at how many rocks there are here. Would you find so many rocks in a river delta? Probably not, right? It wouldn't be this rocky. Rather, we are probably pretty far up in the mountains. Oh, I might regret saying that but I'll just go somewhere up here you know like this yeah 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 this looks good you know what? let's go right here <laughs> well it was the right country and I was certainly not off by saying that it is far away from the sea so yeah I guess uh, for China standards, that's probably a pretty decent guess. Next round. Ooh, this looks familiar. Now, I have...
have probably seen this on some other GeoGuessr video. I'm guessing on a Geo GeoWizard video. If I'm not mistaken, because this certainly looks familiar, but if it helps at all, I completely forgot where this was. I mean, it's Arabic writing. It is very mountainous. There's a... I mean, it's a beautiful landscape. We have a little... That's not an oasis, I mean, it's on a river. But we have a little green patch down there. Yeah, altogether very beautiful. Now... Ah, do I remember where that was? I'm th I think it was in Pakistan, to be fair. So this guess is not really 100% my own doing or was it afghanistan it was somewhere around here i remember that so admittedly this score will be a bit affected but i'm just gonna do it anyway i mean it must be somewhere really far up in these mountains again i have no recollection of where exactly it was but i think this for example ah that's the indus Look at that. You know what? Yeah, let's go here. Oh, wait. You know what? Let's go where there is at least a road. Yeah, 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 here. Let's go there. I was in the wrong country. <laughs> Which speaks for me not really remembering where it was. But, yeah, the general feeling, the general direction was certainly correct. All right, let's try the next one. Okay, this one I definitely haven't seen before. And it is an absolute sh hit round. Okay. Uh, should I even spend any time on this? I mean, what do we have? Foliage, very far north or very far south. Can we tell which side of the road we're driving on? Nope. Not really. Do I know these poles? I have no idea. Oh boy. Um, yellow lines. I thought that was an American thing, but I think I have also seen that in Finland, if I'm not mistaken. So I am going to go into Finland and not waste any more time on this. Let's go here. Ah, oh, Christ, damn it. It was in Canada. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that was horrible. Last round. Let's see if we can maybe recover from this a little bit. I mean, this is certainly very interesting. I mean, you gotta give it to the map maker. It's a hard map. It's really difficult, but some of the images are quite impressive. I mean, wow. What in the world is this? Is this like an oil oil rig? Or what are they doing here? Or maybe it's like a mine, you know? Very interesting, and it seems to be, I don't know, is it still used? Probably not. Almost gives this place like an eerie, dystopic feeling. Pretty crazy. Okay, but let's focus on the clues. So, very arid landscape. People wearing what I believe is a turban. These are cows? Are those camels? No, right? Those are not camels. Ooh. I'm thinking Middle East. Maybe North Africa. But it could also be, you know, like Central Asia, Asia, like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan. Very hard to tell. 
very hard. I'm actually thinking more like Central Asia. I mean, I don't really know why, I just have this, this gut feeling that it might be Uzbekistan, you know? Also because there is no street view there, at, as far as I know. So you know what, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try Uzbekistan. Let's go crazy. Let's go... Is there like a road close by? Something? Not really, right? It's all just dirt roads. So I can really just click in the middle of nowhere. Which is what I'm gonna do. Let's see. Oh, I wasn't too far off. It was actually Afghanistan again. Alright. Okay. Let's view the summary. Well, the score is... <laughs> it is what it is, but... To be fair, rounds like these where you have a bunch of pine trees or whatever that is... Ah, it's just a gamble, you know? But the other rounds are actually... They were not that bad, okay? Admittedly, the Afghanistan round... I kind of already knew where it was, roughly. But, yeah... That's cool. Thanks for watching.